The Embassy Theatre proved its worth as a classy inner city venue on Tuesday night as a large crowd was treated to the best of the feelers. The theatre has been reopened by Brendan Pukaheka and is playing its role in livening up the centre of the city. The Embassy has had a successful rebirth, as last night's Feelers concert proved. A large crowd of 400 enjoyed the band and venue which Brendan Pukihika reopened late last year. Just uh, the lack of venues around town um, and just wanting to get the industry happening and bring Invercargill alive again. Uh, looking for, everyone's been asking for Stella, so Stella's the big one for, the, for, for March. Uh, we've got John Williamson, country singer from Australia. Uh, quite a few smaller ones and uh, quite a few private functions as well. Um, or Aruja. So th there's quite a number coming up. The city has been short of a large concert venue since the closure of Laser's Night Spot. The embassy fulfills all requirements for bands to once again re include Invercargill on tour schedules. Well, it's very important if you want the town to be part of the party scene and the local touring scene. Uh, they need, the, they need the, the venue to be flexible, hold the numbers. Um, so we're, we're looking at getting Invercargill back on the touring scene because a lot of bands aren't coming here now. So we want to change that. The venue also caters for underage concert goers. Demonstrated last night with an alcohol free zone downstairs and a strictly monitored drinking environment upstairs. We, we, we want to cater to all markets so we don't want to miss anybody out. Um, plus with their population base, so if we can get a good broad uh, right across the whole uh, the range. Uh, last night worked really well. There are further plans for development within the embassy and for the entire block.